ADSB is really the big push among avionics right now with the 2020 mandate still out there looming. And we've noticed a lot of companies offering rebates. Many of them are your, uh, your members as well. How is that helping push pilots and owners and operators to equip for ADSB? Well, it certainly helped. We only have 40 months left to January 1st. And so while that sounds like a lot of time, the problem that aircraft owners may run into is that if they wait till 2018 or 19 to get their installation done, the shops are going to have a capacity backlog. And so in order to try to avoid that, the FAA's come up with a $500 rebate that will kick in around September-ish. They haven't announced the specific effective date yet, but it will be coming soon. So as you mentioned, some AEA member companies have stepped up in the meantime such as Avidyne, Free Flight, and a couple others that offered their own bridge program so that aircraft owners don't have to wait until the FAA's program kicks in in September. Now, if someone's saying, gee, I wonder which ADSB I should buy, you offer a handy resource to help them make that decision. We do. You can stop by our booth. We have two publications here that are great ADSB resources. The first one is the Pilot's Guide to Avionics, and it comes out once a year. It includes a member directory of all of our avionics repair stations all over the world in 43 countries. So it's a great resource from that standpoint. It also has a lot of educational articles about ADSB, what it is, why you need it, what are the benefits. It's a free publication. Also, Avionics News Magazine, which of course is published once a month. What are some of the barriers that you're seeing, some of the resistance that people might be saying, I'm going to wait till a little bit closer to the deadline before I make a decision? And what advice would you give to those folks? Well, I think it's human nature to procrastinate in anything in life, so that's a natural thing. But I think what has happened in the last 12 to 18 months is we've had a lot of new products come online. So the cost for the products themselves have started to come down. Now you see on top of that the rebate program kick in. So cost is starting to get out of the way as a factor. The other thing that we're seeing now is that pilots and aircraft owners are starting to realize that even though ADSB out is part of the mandate, a lot of them are choosing to get ADSB in when they do their installation. And there are a ton of benefits within, such as traffic and weather, that what we hear from pilots is that it just makes flying more fun. You hear a lot of them saying, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. And so that word is just now starting to get out within the pilot community that not only does it make flying more safe and more efficient, but it's also more fun. And so it's been great that the equipage pace is starting to pick up, but we still have a long way to go to equip over 100,000 GA airplanes by January 1st, 2020. So we still have to pick the pace up. Aero TV is brought to you by Triggs TT31 Mode S Transponder is the class-leading retrofit to the KT-76A or KT-78A. Easier and faster to install, you can now integrate with GNS or GTN WAS navigators and use our free ADSB STC list covering 650 aircraft types. ADSB just got easy.